So, we come to the most unusual film that we're likely to review ever, probably, do you think? Yes, certainly the existence of it is most unusual. It's Benjamin Snittlegrass and the Cauldron of Penguins, and regulars will not really need to be told again... Uh, how this came into being because we went into it in great detail yesterday but it was yesterday an ad, uh, last week Becky Ponce, it was an it was an aside yeah from your good self during a review of Percy Jackson Percy Jackson the lightning thief and I was saying that it was ripped off of uh, uh, Harry Potter and the whatever it is and I said for, they might as well have called it and then just we said Benjamin Sniddlegrass and, and the Cauldron of Penguins. Penguins okay so last week we spoke to Jeremy Dillon who explained how having heard that he then did some posters, did some plot ideas. People asked him to make a movie. 6000 Australian dollars later, later, he's actually made it. Uh, it premiered last week, and here is Jeremy Dillon at the premiere on Monday in Sydney. Our friends at BBC Radio 5 Live have been very generous to us in terms of giving us a bit of coverage and um, perpetuating the uh, Benjamin Snittlegrass entity throughout various forms of media. So we'd like to record a little message for them. So I'm going to count down from five on my left hand. And <laughs> after that, I'm going to get you all to say in unison, hello, Mark, Simon and Jason Isaacs. So um, just a, a practice. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mark, Simon, and Jason Isaacs. I'm sure we can do better than that. Okay, take two. Five, four, three, two. Hello, Mark, Simon, and Jason Isaacs. Yeah, that was working. Hello. You can hear there that the audience, who I think largely comprised of the cast, were going, Isaacs? Uh, who? Isaacs? Do Jason Isaacs is related to Jason Isaacs? Do you, th do you think so? Yeah. So, anyway, so the film... Pre we ought to say, uh, we haven't done it. Sorry, hello, Jason. Hello, no, but they just, a, a room full of people in Australia just did, did it. it. No, you know, no, what do you true, want? But they said Isaacs. Isaacs, yeah. Okay. So, so, yeah, so it's available to download. Yeah, and so we did download it mm -hmm. and we did watch it. And so now it's, it's very difficult to do this because the fact of the matter is, it's obviously the, pro the, 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 the film takes its premise and many of its jokes from in-jokes within the programme that I know that not everybody feels as warm and friendly towards as we do. So, so this is a little bit self-reverential. It is. is it so consequently, you have to take with... I mean, I've, referential. I've always said that one is it's not possible to review honestly any film if your name is in the credits. Although the fact is my name has appeared in the credits of some films which, which I have really... I hate it. Like what? Oh, there was a, there was a weird British horror movie that was made once that I did a set report for the name of which fails me once, and, and I was watching it and I was shocked and appalled at how terrible it was. And at the end of it, it said thanks to Mark Kermode and Nigel Floyd because we'd done a set report for it. It was one of those really bizarre things. In the case of Benjamin Snittlegrass, here's the thing: I laughed seven times. Now, when uh, Jeremy was on the program, he said, uh, "I said, how long is it?" He said, "It's seventy minutes long." Okay, yeah. It's 70 minutes long. Ten of those minutes are the end credits in which they thank everyone, you, me included, but everyone on the planet. It's like a phone book, which is great because that's how it works. And also, it's the Roger Corman principle that the key song, set piece, central musical thing does occur at least once, twice, and possibly three times. On that Roger Corman principle, if you've got a sequence, show it again. You know what? People might have missed it. So, yes, it is 70 minutes long, but actually the film sort of comes in at about 55 minutes. So I figure 55 minutes got 6,000 Australian dollars seven laughs to a laugh per dollar per minute ratio that is a better hit rate than many of the comedies that we have reviewed this 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 week this year and certainly better than some of the films that are out this week i mean there are things in it that i snorted at like the Werner herzog jokes but i did understand even as i was doing that that if i didn't find those jokes funny then nobody would so i'm it's a peculiar position to yes. be in i i i genuinely laughed seven times it is an odd strange you know, and I don't mean this in a bad way. It is an amateur production in the best of all senses because it's cost six thousand uh, uh, Australian dollars and was put together by a bunch of people. Some of whom I wonder whether Jeremy had to sit down and explain the gags to them. I would, I would have thought so. I mean, if you, if the, so, the whole point is, if you have been listening to this program for a while, if you get the jokes, that when a character comes along, a, a, a woman called Aunt David Morrissey. It's it's sort of it's it's a humorous moment. But outside of the people who listen, you go, what what on earth? is happening here i genuinely i genuinely wonder what outside of my head that would be like but i should say that i mean i went in thinking i oh, I, re I really hope this is okay and i really want it to be okay and i promise you i did i laughed seven times and from where i'm standing that was a much higher hit rate than i'd expected and i have to say hats off to jeremy for 
for saying I'm going to go and make a film with that title, and, and then, then a year did, later yeah. it's gone there. and done it. And I have, you know, I'm, 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 I, I, I was actually, I was kind of tickled by it. And it's I, three thousand eight hundred pounds, six thousand Oz dollars. Is it okay? Yeah. Fine. So that's pretty good. But that's it. Honestly, that's my. I was kind of tickled by it. Phil. In, well, you, you did as well. I Phil in you, Perth. You, no, absolutely. You, but I, I, I think for it the is, same reason. It is funny if you've been listening to the show for what it's worth having a look at. It's a bit like I mean I remember one of the many schools that I went to, the six formers and the staff went off for a charity week and they did a film based about stuff that happened in the school yeah, and exactly. everyone in our school found it funny. Everyone outside the school, going, yeah. but the, weird, the, the, the so the, it's like that. The yeah. only weird difference, Simon, is. We don't know any of these people, and they live in Australia. That's true. It's like people on the other side of the world that we've never met made that film that your friends at school made. You said that in there, well, your old microphone, yeah. and then they did that down there. I know. I say it here. It comes out there. It's broadcast news.